so let's talk about breastfeeding today and uh, there are some ideas and uh, which normally people follow always and uh, there are some ideas what normally uh, the elderly people at home they talk about breastfeeding or how to feed your newborn baby so today i will uh, talk about some myths and some reality actually so normally how early as uh, you can start feeding so basically breastfeeding can be start as early as possible always it is always recommended that you start your feeding as early as possible and uh, that means uh, how early so if it is a normal delivery uh, if the mother is fit to you know feed the baby definitely start within half an hour to 45 minutes or even early uh, we can actually directly keep the baby on mother's uh, chest and uh, they can start feeding exactly after the delivery also so this is one thing and for the cesarean thing i will always recommend you wait for uh, one hour let the uh, anesthesia effect go down and then you can start feeding the baby and how to feed a baby so basically how to feed a baby has different version of it so normally how we start feeding is we start from the one side of the breast and we start feeding for at least 20 minutes from one side and then we feed the baby from the other side of the breast so always remember try to feed at least from the both the sides and 20, 15 to 20 minutes feeding is recommended always so what happens if you don't feed 15 to 20 minutes or your baby is taking only feed from your breast from like 5 to 10 minutes so initially uh, there are two things one is the fore milk and the hind milk so the fore milk contains a basically water so if you feed the baby for only 5 to 10 minutes the fore milk goes uh, in the baby's stomach which can cause some diarrhea and the hind milk has all the nutrition all the protein all the fat part so you always have to feed the baby for 15 to 20 minutes that the hind milk can reach to the baby's stomach so that's why you have to feed for 15 to 20 minutes each time and how frequently we should feed that is one more question what comes to the mind so how frequently we have to feed is remember normally our feeding gap should be 2 to 3 hours sometimes maybe we sleep we should more you have to tickle to the toe of the baby and just wake him up and start feeding so this is how we feed normally and uh, otherwise if baby gets up early please you have to feed the baby if the baby is crying and um, what all things uh, you have to look and how do you know when the baby has been fed well so there are two things one is the baby is passing urine regularly that is normally we expect 8 to 10 times passing of urine of a newborn baby at one, in one day and other things are uh, we can see is baby is sleeping well so there are two things which will make sure that the baby your baby is has been fed well and um, any other queries uh, basically some people may have query whether to start on cow milk or any other milk or anything else we should never use cow milk if there is any problem with your feeding you have to consult a doctor we have solution for everything so please come to a pediatrician ask him what has to be done and accordingly we can suggest you what has to be done so please follow those rules and don't try to give any water or anything baby do not require anything first 6 months just breast feeding this is universal rule which is been followed everywhere in all over the world so this is what i will recommend and uh, other than that uh, taking care of a baby newborn baby always try to remember you have to keep the baby uh, covered with cotton cloths uh, please try to provide caps socks and hand gloves and don't overwrap the baby with uh, blankets or anything just keep a uh, plain blanket which will cover the baby and um, one more thing is it's always better after feeding you have to burp so just keep the baby on your shoulder here and start burping you have to walk with the baby for 15 20 minutes till the burping sounds actually comes out so the baby's 
why burping is important is uh, whenever you try to feed a baby they will enter some amount of air inside their stomach so there will be a uh, bloated stomach and uh, babies cannot control so they just puke everything out so to avoid that we have to make sure that the baby is being burped after the feeding so after each feed try to burp the baby for 10 to 15 minutes and one more small thing you can uh, key, uh, do at home is you can actually um, elevate the head end and make the baby sleep just take a small cloth or small bed sheet or bed cover just fold and wrap it and just keep behind the neck of the baby okay just to elevate little bit that's all is required so these are the things what you are supposed to follow while uh, you are having a newborn baby uh, i think this is the main feeding issues what everybody follows and if you have any problem with your uh, other things any uh, nipple issues you can definitely consult your doctor or the nurses there are some ways to change those things otherwise i think these are the things what we normally follow uh, in our hospital setup also and you can follow at home also so if you guys have any other doubts please let me know i will definitely make a video about your doubts so these are the basic things about feeding hopefully you guys have understood it very well and if you have any queries please write in the comment and subscribe to my channel that is wandering doctor i will make more videos and i will post it online so thank you for watching please if you like it subscribe to my channel share like and comment any query please comment it thank you have a good day